man. And the challenge behind that, to be honest with you, with when you're leading your team and leading, you know, about 500, you know, a couple hundred to, to 500 um, indigenous forces is not only do you have um, a lot of people under your um, command, but you also have language barriers and cultural barriers, weapons barriers, traditional barriers, all kinds of different religious barriers, perhaps that you may, you may not be aware of. And so a lot of, a lot of things you have to take into consideration. Um, and so the leadership is even more, in my opinion, even more challenging, even with the language barriers. So we, when we went overseas and we were working with um, different forces overseas, either in training or in operations, we'd have to really, really study up ahead of time and, and learn their traditions and whatnot. And a smallest little mistake could be, could be actually quite um, magnified when you were overseas. And the same thing when you, when you were, you know, now that we're running a hedge fund, uh, the team is a lot smaller, but a small mistake could actually be, you know, you know qu could be magnified, uh, uh, you know, uh, quite a lot. And so we have to be, we have to have a, a very good intent, attention to detail. For example, when we were in the Middle East, um, you may know some certain traditions, for example, showing the bottom of your feet. We cross our legs in America all the time when we're sitting and, and our foot might, a bottom of our foot might be towards another person it means nothing, but over there, it's actually, it's actually an insult. So little things like that, you have to be very, very aware of. Um, and also like showing face and, and, and making sure you're, um, if you're disagreeing with somebody, you're doing it in a very, very sensitive manner because uh, here we can disagree about, um, you know, hedge fund positions and, and what we're buying and selling. And we just have a lively debate around that. Whereas it's not as, as, as easy in certain other cultures and whatnot. And so not only did I have to pay attention to that when I was working with commanders overseas, but I had to make sure my men were trained um, as 12 man special forces, uh, ODA, operational detachment alpha, but I had to make sure that they were also very sensitive because they have dozens and dozens of soldiers altogether. Like I said, probably about four or 500, depending on the operation. And we all have to be very, very sensitive um, and, and very, um, kind of culturally aware that a small discrepancy or mistake can be magnified. And kind of that sort of type of training of, of that sort of attention to detail, I think we, I brought across and that leadership sort of component um, into, into my financial career um, and that attention to detail. And I think that has paid off uh, very well um, in either working for large hedge funds or uh, starting my own with a, with a good buddy of mine, a good friend of mine um, from the military 